Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I am back with another video and this one is going to be my July wrap up. So I read six books uh, this month. Some of them were really good, some of them weren't so good, but hey, I think the best reviews are mixed reviews. So let's just jump straight into it. I will try to keep it short, um, but I will talk about all of them. So first up we have Hamilton, The Revolution by Lin-Manuel Miranda and Jeremy McCarter and I've probably talked about this in my last few videos enough that you guys should probably understand that it is a high recommendation and you should pick it up. And I found that I can never really give this book justice when I talk about it besides just screaming at you guys to read it, so I'll quickly just read it off the back because I'm pretty quick at talking. Hamilton is a revolutionary as subject of the poor kid from the Caribbean who fought the British, defended the constitution and helped to found the United States. Using hip hop, pop and R&B, the best traditions of theatre, this once in a generation show broadens the sound of Broadway, reveals the storytelling power of rap and claims our country's origins for a diverse new generation. And you guys can get a soundtrack to go with this book and it's just one of the greatest things that I have read recently and I absolutely loved it and it's just... So great. I just need to find a way now to go to New York to go and see this on Broadway, which probably won't ever happen. And that saddens me. And next up we have And I Darken by Kirsten White. And I think I gave this book a four and a half or four stars out of five. And although I really did enjoy it, it seemed to have that storyline where it never really reached the climax of the plot and you kind of just had this build up for it and then the book ended. But I still really liked it and I'm really excited for the next book in the series. Um, so it takes a twist on Vlad the Impaler and instead you have Leda the Impaler who is this brutal, kick-ass, wonderful female who is pretty much like an anti-hero but we love her anyway. And then you also have her brother Radu who is basically the opposite to her. He's kind and caring and just a little cinnamon roll that we really want to protect. And you follow their lives, so literally from the day that Leda is born um, and then all this stuff that they go through to where they're standing at the end of the book. I just really liked it. It's a really good historical fiction slash fantasy read. So if you guys are into that, I totally recommend picking it up. Next up we have Fans of the Impossible Life by Kate Skelser. I remember giving this book two and a half out of five stars. Um, the intro was really, really slow for me. And out of the three main characters, I only found myself really liking the perspective of one of them. So it kind of put a damper on reading the book. And the ending to this, it, it isn't very resolved. So... Don't think that counts as a spoiler, as for it doesn't really give away anything, but there's left with like a lot of open ties still, so whether there's a second one in the series that's going to be coming out, or whether that the author just wrote it that way so that our minds can wonder and finish the story ourselves, I'm not sure, but I'm the kind of person who just wants to know what happens, and I did not know. So basically it follows the story of three friends. You have Myra and Sebi, who are best friends already. Um, Sebi is a foster kid who has quite a rough past and life, and then you have Mira, who um, suffers depression and sometimes the only way she can get through the day is when she's got Sebi by her side. And then you have Jeremy who walks into the school and he moves schools after something happened at his old school which you find out about in the book and he struggles to really have friends until he really meets Myra and Sebi and then his life pretty much changes and it follows them through the school year. Frontlines by Michael Grant and I'm pretty sure I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5. I really really did like it. I did not expect to which might be why my rating was so high was because I had no expectations going into this book. I've been told that Michael Grant is a bit of an okay author and Frontlines is a bit of an okay book, but I don't know, I just, I really liked it. Um, so basically it's about an alternative universe where females got to fight in World War II and you follow three protagonists, um, different perspectives throughout the story and I just fell in love with all of the girls in it. It's a really empowering novel that deals not only with sexism and racism, um, but also the brutality of wars and what it's like and all that I really got from this book is that it would have been really tough, but women would totally have kicked ass and saved everyone. I am very excited for the next book in this series because I need to see more of the females in this book kicking the sexism to the curb and all the racism and everything like that. Because in this book, at some points, it's just tolerated. It's not really dealt with. And that was probably one of the reasons why I did not give it the full five stars. But every other aspect of it I really like. So this series is going to depend on the next book entirely. And I just hope that Michael Grant writes it 
the way that I really want him to. So this next one I could not give enough praise for. I read it when I was like this close to a reading slump and it just pulled me out and at the same time made me fall head over heels in love with it. And that is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. So it follows the story of Blackheart who is an evil supervillain um, and Nimona becomes his new sidekick. So the difference with them is that Blackheart is actually a cinnamon roll and he doesn't want to hurt anyone or do anything wrong. So he does like really small evil things that doesn't affect anyone. Whereas Nimona here is very dangerous and reckless and act before she thinks and she can kill people without even considering it. Um, plus she's just a shapeshifter so she can turn to dragons and bulls and people and she's just amazing and we love her because she has a tragic backstory that you don't find out like straight away but it's so heartbreaking. Um, and then you also have Black Heart's um, arch nemesis which is Sir Goldenloin who works as like the hero agency and yeah you kind of really like him even though he's bad and Blackheart really likes him, even though then enemies, enemies, and enemies. And lastly, for the books that I read in July, is one that I only rated, I think, about two stars or two and a half or something that isn't on my high spectrum of ratings and that is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid so you guys will probably be hearing a lot more about this book soon. It comes out in November um, and I was lucky enough to get an ARC of it but it kind of fell flat for me. I just wanted to say like this book has so much potential and the author, I will pick up more books from them because I absolutely adored their writing style and their world building. It was mind blowing. But the plot for me just went onto this peak about midway and then just dropped off the end and I just was so bored by the last half and I just didn't enjoy it as much as I wish I did. Basically you have Diabolics which are enhanced humans created for one person and in this book we have Nemesis who is created for Sidonia so her entire life is planned out like for this one girl and not only are they protectors and protectee but they are also best friends. So when the Emperor summons Sidonia to go up to his galactic court Nemesis feels the need that she has to impersonate her to protect her and go to the court in her place. And that's pretty hard for someone who is described as inhumane and not a person to then go up to this place on her own and pretend to be human. So it sounds like it's going to be one of the books that a lot of people do love, but unfortunately for me it fell flat, but if you guys like sci-fis I'll still recommend looking at it and if it seems up your alley you should totally pick it up. So that's all the books that I read in July. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, let me know what books you guys have read in July. And what books are you guys looking forward to next month? Um, hopefully I will be reading a lot of books next month because I have a lot to read. <laughs> I'm going to be filming a few more videos after this, so get used to this outfit. That was all for today. I shall see you guys soon. And until then, just be amazing. <laughs> Bye.